Meet Shady, a 41-year-old MC. Fed up with fans and their comments about not being what he used to be, he released the Marshall Mathers LP too. But to understand it all, we'll have to go back. The towers were still standing, the Lakers were on top, Kendrick Lamar was 13 years old, and Eminem released a Marshall Mathers LP. It's no secret that much of M's work was intended to separate him from the popular music at the time. He represented this anti-conformist idea, the counterbalance of the chart-topping pop music while still topping the charts. You were most likely a teenager or younger in 2000, rebelling and relating to Marshall's work. I've mentioned this before, but isn't it amazing how we live in the past in hip-hop? Think about this. We don't want change. We want you to dye your hair, name your album, even recreate the cover to make us feel like you're back. There were three reasons why I became a fan back then. Lyrical ability, shock value, and humor. For some, it was more, and for others, it was just humor. Now it's 2013. The towers are gone, the heat are on top, Kendrick is 26, and Eminem releases the Marshall Mathers LP 2. You know what they say about sequels. They pale in comparison to the original. We've had quite a few attempts over the years. Most have just been one album. Some have revisited it more than once. Why would you want to take us back to your prime? Why would Nas, Lupe, or even Wayne sequel an album? I feel like it's a challenge, obviously for the artist to recreate something worthwhile and for the listener to think about how long you've been a fan. This is a 13-year wedding anniversary with M. Maybe you fell in love before with Infinite or The Real Slim Shady, but the Marshall Mathers LP is his great greatest piece of work. This is supposed to be a celebration of your relationship. It's no secret that so much of M's work has taken a support group approach, with his sobriety being the focus on his recent work and now songs like Headlights where he attempts to mend a bad situation with his mother. You're 21, 25 now, and the anti-conformity is gone. He's made pop records. He's a defeated man. This is a true sequel. Sure, most of the hooks suck. Some of the beats sound like mixtape material, so it's not a proper sequel in the sense of being better than the original, but it's 13 years later. The character finds himself more mature, a different perspective on life, definitely more developed than his earlier years. The problem is, there's no more shock value. His most controversial pieces are stored on your MP3. His humors ran its course, but he still got me on the lyrical ability. If you're holding on to more than that still, good for you. And if you've turned your back on Eminem after this project, you get to hold on to what you love the most, the past. Meet the Marshall Mathers LP2. It's not a recreation of the first. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But when people change, their art does too.